God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. With the apostles, Barnabas the Levite, shines in the glory, one by many labors, through love of Jesus, he despised us nothing, all that he suffered. Land and possessions he abandoned also, Charity's order marked his honest teaching. Antioch's converts won the name of Christians, proof of their fervor. Quickly perceiving Paul's sincere conversion, gladly he welcomed such a keen companion by divine choosing many miles they traveled, spreading the gospel. Tireless and eager, he would spare no effort, preaching Christ Jesus by his words and goodness, till martyr's glory sealed his never Lifelong devotion. Lord God Almighty, through the intercession of your great servant, give us strength to labor for our salvation that we may in heaven praise you forever. Surrender to God, and he will do everything for you. Do not fret because of the wicked. Do not envy those who do evil for they wither quickly like grass and fade like the green of the fields. If you trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find your delight in the Lord, he will grant your heart's desire. Commit your life to the Lord, trust in him and he will act, so that your justice breaks forth like the light, your cause like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait in patience. Do not fret at the man who prospers, a man who makes evil plots to bring down the needy and the poor. Calm your anger and forget your rage. Do not fret, it only leads to evil. For those who do evil shall perish, the patient shall inherit the land. A little longer and the wicked shall have gone. Look at his place, he is not there, but the humble shall own the land and enjoy the fullness of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Surrender to God, and, and he, he will, will do, do everything, everything for, for you. you. Turn away from evil and learn to do God's will. The Lord will strengthen you if you obey him. The wicked man plots against the just 
and gnashes his teeth against him. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is at hand. The sword of the wicked is drawn. His bow is bent to slaughter the upright. Their sword shall pierce their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken to pieces. The just man's few possessions are better than the wicked man's wealth. For the power of the wicked shall be broken, and the Lord will support the just. He protects the lives of the upright. Their heritage will last forever. They shall not be put to shame in evil days. In time of famine their food shall not fail. But all the wicked shall perish, and all the enemies of the Lord. They are like the beauty of the meadows. They shall vanish, they shall vanish like smoke. The wicked man borrows without repaying, but the just man is generous and gives. Those blessed by the Lord shall own the land, but those he has cursed shall be destroyed. The Lord guides the steps of a man and makes safe the path of one he loves. Though he stumble, he shall never fall, for the Lord holds him by the hand. I was young and now I am old, but I have never seen the just man forsaken, nor his children begging for bread. All the day he is generous and lends, and his children become a blessing. Then turn away from evil and do good, for you shall have a home forever. For the Lord loves justice and will never forsake his friends. The unjust shall be wiped out forever and the children of the wicked destroyed. The just shall inherit the land. There they shall live forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Turn away from evil and, and learn, learn to, to do, do God's, God's will. will. The, the Lord, Lord will strengthen you if you, you obey him. him. Wait for the Lord to lead, then follow in his way. The just man's mouth utters wisdom, and his lips speak what is right. The law of his God is in his heart. His steps shall be saved from stumbling. The wicked man watches for the just and seeks occasion to kill him. The Lord will not leave him in his power, nor let him be condemned when he is judged. Then wait for the Lord, keep to his way. It is he who will free you from the wicked, raise you up to possess the land and see the wicked destroyed. I have seen the wicked triumphant, towering like a cedar of Lebanon. I passed by again, he was gone. I searched, he was nowhere to be found. See the just man, mark the upright, for a peaceful man a future lies in store, but sinners shall all be destroyed. No future lies in store for the wicked. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord, their stronghold in time of distress. The Lord helps them and delivers them and saves them, for their refuge is in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wait for the Lord to lead, then, then follow, follow in his way. way. Teach me goodness and holy wisdom, for I have put my trust in your guidance. From the book of Joshua. Joshua, son of Nun, secretly sent out two spies from Shittim, saying, Go, reconnoiter the land and Jericho. When the two reached Jericho, they went into the house of a harlot named Rahab, where they lodged. But a report was brought to the king of Jericho that some Israelites had come there that night to spy out the land. So the king of Jericho sent Rahab the order, Put out the visitors who have entered your house, for they have come to spy out the entire land. The woman had taken the two men and hidden them, so she said, True, 
The men you speak of came to me, but I did not know where they came from. At dark, when it was time for the gate to be shut, they left, and I do not know where they went. You will have to pursue them immediately to overtake them. Now, she had led them to the roof, and hidden them among her stalks of flax spread out there. But the pursuers set out along the way to the fords of the Jordan, and once they had left, the gate was shut. Before the spies fell asleep, Rahab came to them on the roof and said, I know that the Lord has given you the land, and that all the inhabitants of the land are overcome with fear of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the waters of the Red Sea before you when you came out of Egypt, and how you dealt with Sihon and Og, the two kings of the Amorites beyond the Jordan, whom you doomed to destruction. At these reports, we are disheartened. Everyone is discouraged because of you, since the Lord, your God, is God in heaven above and on earth below. Now then, swear to me by the Lord that, since I am showing kindness to you, you in turn will show kindness to my family, and give me an unmistakable token that you are to spare my father and mother, brothers and sisters, and all their kin, and save us from death. We pledge our lives for yours, the men answered her. If you do not betray this errand of ours, we will be faithful in showing kindness to you when the Lord gives us the land. Then she let them down through the window with a rope, for she lived in a house built into the city wall. Go up into the hill country, she suggested to them, that your pursuers may not find you. Hide there for three days until they return. Then you may proceed on your way. The men answered her, This is how we will fulfill the oath you made us take. When we come into the land, tie this scarlet cord in the window through which you are letting us down, and gather your father and mother, your brothers and all your family into your house. Should any of them pass outside the doors of your house, he will be responsible for his own death, and we shall be guiltless. But we shall be responsible if anyone in the house with you is harmed. If, however, you betray this errand of ours, we shall be quit of the oath you have made us take. Let it be as you say, she replied, and bade them farewell. When they were gone, she tied the scarlet cord in the window. They went up into the hills, where they stayed three days until their pursuers, who had sought them along the road without finding them, returned. Then the two came back down from the hills, crossed the Jordan to Joshua, son of Nun, and reported all that had befallen them. They assured Joshua, The Lord has delivered all this land into our power. Indeed, all the inhabitants of the land are overcome with fear of us. A man pleases God by what he does, and not by faith alone. Rahab pleased him when she sheltered the messengers, and sent them on their way by a different route. Just as a body without breath is dead, so faith without works is dead. By faith, Rahab the prostitute welcomed the spies with kindness, and so escaped death.
Just as a body without breath is dead, so faith without works is dead. From a treatise on the Gospel of St. Matthew by St. Chromatius, Bishop. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do men light a lamp only to put it under a bushel basket. They put it on a stand where it gives light to all in the house. The Lord called his disciples the salt of the earth because they seasoned with heavenly wisdom the hearts of men, rendered insipid by the devil. Now he calls them the light of the world as well because they have been enlightened by him, the true and everlasting light, and have themselves become a light in the darkness. Since he is the son of justice, he fittingly calls his disciples the light of the world. The reason for this is that through them, as through shining rays, he has poured out the light of the knowledge of himself upon the entire world. For by manifesting the light of truth, they have dispelled the darkness of error from the hearts of men. Moreover, we too have been enlightened by them. We have been made light out of darkness, as the Apostle says. For once you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. He says another time, For you are not sons of the night and of darkness, but you are all sons of light and of the day. St. John also rightly asserts in his letter, God is light, and whoever abides in God is in the light, just as God himself is in the light. Therefore, because we rejoice in having been freed from the darkness of error, we should always walk in the light as children of light. This is why the Apostle says, Among them you shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life. If we fail to live in the light, we shall, to our condemnation and that of others, be veiling over and obscuring by our infidelity the light men so desperately need. As we know from Scripture, the man who received the talent should have made it produce a heavenly profit, but instead he preferred to hide it away rather than to put it to work, and was punished as he deserved. Consequently, that brilliant lamp, which was lit for the sake of our salvation, should always shine in us. For we have the lamp of the heavenly commandment and spiritual grace, to which David referred. Your law is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Solomon also says this about it, for the command of the law is a lamp. Therefore, we must not hide this lamp of law and faith. Rather, we must set it up in the church as on a lampstand for the salvation of many so that we may enjoy the light of truth itself, and all believers may be enlightened. When Barnabas arrived at Antioch and saw God's grace at work there, he rejoiced. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. He encouraged all to stand firm in their commitment to the Lord. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. Let us pray. God our Father, you filled St. Barnabas with faith and the Holy Spirit and sent him to convert the nations. Help us to proclaim the gospel by word and deed. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.